Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you a very useful comma, useful uh, utility that is coming with the J, uh, JDK. So here I have written a small class uh, which is which name is main and it has a static method and it, it does nothing and it has some instance uh, property, instance members, there's an instance variable and this constructor gets a parameter Int, uh, as an argument and it is assigned to this int uh, that internal uh, property and it has a getter so this was a simple class so let's see what the utility I'm going to show you so first I will compile this uh, class yeah it compiles uh, with no exceptions so the command is Java P it was kind of a decompiler of uh, bytecode but which which is not decompiled to the Java source code but it will have some kind of a notion of the class itself let's see what this main is by just uh, without any parameters by executing Java P you can see the methods available and the constructor so here we have the static main method and this instance method and the, uh, the constructor so we can see what are the available uh, options in here using help yeah it was a command and here there are verbos as usual in the java jvm command and here there are few that uh, which may interest you so uh, here it's private and there was a command which I uh, yeah it was the verbos so I'm going to do the verbos on the main and now you see the bytecode is decompiled in a readab readable manner because if you just open a class file you may not see anything in there so this was the place which I put my class file so if you just open it using notepad yeah here I use notepad plus plus you may see nothing it was like a very encrypted uh, kind of an encrypted code but here on the other hand has kind of a read uh, put this byte code in a readable manner so if you have enough time you can go through this and there are a lot of uh, not much more but there are few sites which helps you to understand this byte code instructions beta because here you you will experience that that it's uh, it's internal architecture it was a stack the internal architecture is stack that is why this uh, load and push method put and push methods are there here you will get uh, that means in this instance method you will get uh, a load value and return that and uh, you, you can see that here in the main method you see that in the stack there is no variable there will be a one local that is because you are getting the string argument and arg size is one but in this in this um, instance variable you see the stack size is one that is the reference to the this this uh, that means the, uh, the instance uh, reference so such things can be identified using this uh, bytecode so have fun with the bytecode using java p